Hey everyone, this is Masters1237, and I'm here to give you a first look at SPV2. The map I'm showing you today is B30, the Silent Cartographer, which is one of our most complete the levels so far. There are a couple of bugs in it, but one of the bugs that is not our fault silent. and will not be in the final the mod is, is the screen quirks that you're going to be observing. The screen quirks are due to Windows Vista, and if you're running Windows XP, you shouldn't see any problems. The Pelicans in SPV2 are map. different than the ones you've seen in SPV1. While they may look the same, they actually have AI gunners underneath their wings and underneath the chin of the pelican, as well as the back. This allows them to fire and attack independently of their recorded animations, so they can actually fly over areas, rain down missiles, bullets, I've seen them take out banshees before, drop ships. It's a really cool thing that we had and really adds to the battle. It really took us a while to be able to figure out how to do these large encounters correctly. When we first did it, there were mortar wraiths on the beach, there were the hunters, uh, brutes of brood shots, camo elites, and then what happened was that the marines would get slaughtered and everybody would just turn towards you and fire and kill you. And it really wasn't that much fun. One of the ways we fixed this was by enhancing the marine AI. The marines keep the covenant busy enough so that the player can engage in small and personal battles. This allows us to keep the Halo 1 gameplay intact while still having a large scale battle in the background. Coming up is a really good example of how we've changed the BRG. The grenades are too valuable to just waste on elite shields, so they're really used for taking out uh, small armor targets, such as turrets or ghosts. They're also useful for setting off grenades on the ground. Now, the Silent Cartographer is the first mission that you get to use the new Rocket Warthog for SPV2. In SPV1, the Rocket Warthog was just a reskinned Goss Warthog with one barrel. While this is more true to what Bungie had in the beta of Halo 2, we decided for SPV2 that we would go back to uh, Gearbox's concept of the Rocket Warthog with the three barrels. The primary reason for going back to Gearbox's design was that we felt that the Rocket Warthog and the Goss Warthog felt too similar in gameplay. As you just saw, when I hit the room with my Warthog, the body would actually fly forward. This works for all units, and we may implement a similar system so that vehicle crashing will actually damage other vehicles. Now, B-30, the Silent Cartographer, was Bungie's original test level, and they left a lot of things in it that were unused in the final game. This dropship in the Ghost may seem familiar to you because it was used in a lot of promotional pictures for Halo 1 for Xbox and computer. The Rocket Warthog works particularly well here, seeing as that it's able to quickly take out your enemies while allowing you to focus on your driving from getting away from the dropship's five guns. Now one of the biggest complaints about SPV-1 was the Wraith turrets, which I honestly have no idea how we even let those stay into the final game. Dead ahead of us is the new Heavy Shade turret, which fires the same projectiles as our dropship. While it's not a particularly dangerous gun at first glance, it won't take that many shots from it to kill you. It uses the same projectiles as the anti-air wraith, so you can just tell from that how dangerous it is towards other vehicles. Nothing beats a barbecue. With the Rock Warthog and SPV-2, we put a lot of work into making sure that the turret wouldn't accidentally kill you when you were in close combat with other Coven. As you can see, it's doing a good job with suppressor fire, and as I rush in here, it can nail an elite dead on in the center without even me having to worry about getting hit. Now in the final version of this map, going down here will lead you to the first of the new BSPs for B30. Now as I come down here, be sure to take a quick look at our plasma grenade explosions. We went through many revisions with these to make them be as perfect as we could. And with that, I think it's time for me to end this demo. Thanks for watching, guys.